today's terrifying story, There's Something Sinister in the Cornfield, was written by Alex W. Horror Stories. My name is Robert, and I have a farm in New England. It's surrounded by trees, but there's about 100 acres of land that I own. I only grow corn, and I have something to tell the world before my final moments. The townsfolk are burning my farm down as I write this. There is a creature that is living on the cornfields that I grow and maintain. It is known as It Who Roams the Corn. The only reason I know that is from the Witcher's book. It was left in the barn that was here when I bought the land. And yes, I said witch. Back in the 1700s, when the Revolutionary War was in full progress, a witch lived on this very property. She mainly used her magic to keep up with her farm since her husband had passed. She couldn't maintain it on her own, so she turned to witchcraft. When the British invaded the area she lived in, they torched her crop and shot her dead. But before she died, she left a Croatian curse on her land. The curse of it who roams the corn. The creature in the corn has lived here for centuries. It is 1931 right now. I've been taking care of it for as long as I've known. I'm 55 years old. I've had this farm since I was 23. I got it back in 1899. I bought it from the bank. They warned me about what had happened here, but I still took it. The creature that lives in the corn has to be taken care of. If not, it will destroy everything you know and love. The crops will go bad. The land will rot. And your family will be eaten alive by this creature. So I've been feeding it since 1900. The year after my family was taken by that thing. Once I found the book, I knew what had to be done. Since then, I've been doing what the book told me to do. Feed the creature children. It only requires to be fed once a month, and your crops will be the best to ever go around the US. Our town is fairly big, so finding children was no hassle. I would just find a child by themselves and lure them away from the people. I would strike them unconscious and feed them to the creature once I got home. I kept that up for 31 years until now. A child escaped this month. The only child to ever escape. He was tied up to the pole at the edge of my cornfield. His cries could be heard as it made its way towards him. The child somehow loosened the rope and ran off. The creature snarled as it could not leave the corn. The child ran and I gave chase but he was too quick. He must have made it back to town and told the town folk because they are burning my corn as I write this. I am afraid that what happened to the witch is what will happen to me. As the town folk arrived, they immediately went to the corn, lighting it faster than cotton over a flame. The flame soared like an eagle in the sky, illuminating the surrounding area. The sunlight was blocked out by the massive amounts of smoke. The fire spread rapidly throughout my property. The shrieks of the creature and the yelling of the town folks could be heard all around. I began to hear banging coming from my front door. I quickly barricaded it and ran upstairs. I began writing this in hopes that the witch that cursed this land will help me. If she does not, and someone finds this book, please tell my story. Suddenly, the spell book across the room flipped open violently. It was on a specific page. The man crawled over to it in desperation. The page it was open to was another spell of a creature, the spell of it who defends. It is a Dutch spell. It is used to summon a creature that will defend the summoner and whatever he so chooses to defend. The following is a translation. Step one, draw blood from your body and draw the symbol of the creature. Step two, chant the following out loud. I call upon it who defends. I require immediate assistance and request your help. I call out to it who defends. Please provide your assistance. Step 3. Remove a finger from yourself and stick it in the middle of the symbol on the wall. He followed the steps. The wall began to shake and a terrifying noise came from outside. The townsfolk had stopped yelling and started screaming, screaming for their lives. The creature let out a terrifying roar. 
The man had scrambled from the wall to the window. Bodies littered the front yard. The corn was ablaze. The 12 foot tall creature had body parts in his hands. At least 20 different people had died. The rest of the townsfolk had taken off down the road. The creature feasted upon the remains of them. After he was done, the sound of tires screeching from down the dirt road became louder. The creature held up nine fingers and disappeared. The man ran outside to the blood spattered grass. The car screeched to a halt in front of the man's house. The police officers jumped out of the cars and pointed rifles and pistols at the man. Stop and don't move a muscle or you'll be shot by the LSPD! The man gripped his knife tightly. The knife was still bloodstained from the amputation of the finger. Tears streamed down his face. He let out a loud yell, almost sounding like a war cry, and five gunshots rang out across the paper. The man fell down silent. He was shot five times. The police officers came to the man to check if he was dead, and he was. The fire department arrived on the scene and tried to put out the quickly spreading fire. Two detectives arrived and searched the house. They found the book in the man's diary and took it in for inspection. Document 1. Book 1. It appears to be the spell book of a witch. The second book appears to be the man's diary. A strange occurrence was discovered. This book has an entry in that happened today, after the man was shot dead. How was this written? Further investigation will take place. Document 2. The man's time of death was 3.24pm. These entries took place after the events of the day took place. It stops once the book is taken off the property. Perhaps something, or someone, is still on the property. This week's shoutouts go out to Ryan Woods, Imbic, Khalees Pinkston, Goodnight Goosebumps, Criminal Core, Degenerate Angel, Levia D, Matthias Keller, and Eugene Kendrick. Thank you for the support.